some back and forth action between the Cougs and the Huskies, but the fourth quarter, all Washington State. They double up the dogs 16 to eight, and they pull out the victory. Two and oh this season in the rivalry series, and now five wins in a row. I'm Elise Woodward with Alyssa Charleston, and this one for the Huskies will hurt. They had some moments in this one, led by Haley Van Dyke, 17 points and eight boards. They just can't close it out. She did everything she could for the team, but it just wasn't in consistent rhythm. Their shots were not falling. They shot around 30% from the field, and Haley just could not continually fill it up for the dogs. They need a secondary scorer. Well, for Charlize Ledger-Walker, her and Johanna Tedder both in double figures. Charlize Ledger-Walker leading the way with 19.7 boards. Just does it everything, uh, does it all for the Cougs. The facilitator creates shots for herself and for her teammates and just has a knack for the ball. Finishes this out, pulled away in, on Friday for the Cougs, helped them overcome a deficit and she's big today. And Johanna Tedder, sniper from three, from mid range. She's never afraid to pull the trigger. 16 points from her. She's really important for this team and delivered a spark when they needed it as well. Yeah, this was a big one down the stretch. She knocked that in, but this was the play that we'll remember right before <laughs> the first quarter break. Bingo from behind half court. Just flicking it out there, having it go in and those three points. Put a big smile on Washington State side. The big thing points off turnovers, 22 to eight advantage Cougs really, really hurt them. You got to take care of the ball. The Huskies needing to finish games by taking care of the ball late, giving easy points to the Cougs. You can't do it, especially in a rivalry game. Have a good day. The Cougs win it 57-43.